afternoon, we're learning more about five college football players charged in a brutal attack in the western suburbs and the punishment they faced from the school. CBS 2's Lauren Victory is live at the Wheaton Police Department this afternoon with more on the investigation. Lauren. Rob and Erica, I'm joined by several news crews here because arrest warrants are out for those five football players. And just minutes ago, Kyle Kriegel, a senior from Michigan, turned himself in without saying a word. The other players are expected here at Wheaton Police Department sometime this week. The one thing these boys did is they put the fear of God into him and he was scared out of his mind. Attorney Terry Eckel recounting the lasting effects of an alleged Wheaton College hazing incident from March 2016. They tore both his labrums in his two shoulders. Eccles' client was a member of the football team. He'll never play the sport again. The victim's own teammates, James Cooksey, Kyler Kriegel, Benjamin Petway, Noah Spielman, and Samuel Tebos, are now facing felony charges of aggravated battery, mob action, and unlawful restraint. The victim's lawyer says those young men allegedly duct taped him, put a pillowcase over his head, threw him in a car, threatened to sexually assault him, then dumped him half naked on a baseball field. What did your client say when he found out that these charges are finally being filed? Well, he was happy that um, the criminal justice system is now involved. Echo only knows of an NCAA punishment against the accused to perform community service and to write an essay. Meanwhile, a lawyer for Spielman, the son of a former NFL player, said, quote, Wheaton College exonerated these gentlemen over one year ago. Just minutes ago, a spokesperson for Wheaton College sent us a statement saying that the five players are no longer able to practice or play with the football team. Reporting live outside Wheaton Police Department, I'm Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. Robin Erica. Okay, Lauren, thank you.